Welcome to Ask the Attorney, our new legal segment on PHTV Channel 4. Each month, I will answer a legal question submitted by you and relevant to our community, or a question triggered by current events. Ask the Attorney will cover every area of law, no holds barred. Real estate, business, labor law, will cover municipal, criminal, family law, education, health, animal law, medical malpractice, personal injury, tax law, entertainment, you name it, we'll cover it. So our question today is, what are statutes of limitation? Statutes of limitations are laws that set a time limit on how long after an injury or incident a person can file a lawsuit. If a lawsuit is filed after that statute of limitations has run, that is, after the time limit expires, then the defendant, the person sued, can ask the court to dismiss the lawsuit as untimely, maintaining the court no longer has jurisdiction. The intention of these laws is to bring resolution to disputes in society within a reasonable period of time. They have been around since ancient Greece. No matter how good your claim is, how right you are, you cannot sit on your injury indefinitely. You must pursue it diligently and timely. The law you will sue under is there to protect you, give you resolution, make you whole. But the statute of limitation is there to protect the defendant from you taking too long, letting evidence get stale, keeping a sword hanging over the defendant's head forever. All statutes of limitation are not created equally. They vary from one jurisdiction to another and vary greatly depending on the type of case. They can be 18 months, two years, five years, seven years. The clock usually starts ticking when the incident occurs, but it may be delayed until the time an injury is discovered. There are also exceptions for injuries incurred while a minor or those with disabilities. So the moral of the story is, don't lose your case by waiting too long. If you've been hurt in a car accident, think you or a loved one has suffered medical malpractice, someone owes you money, you were a victim of fraud, whatever your harm is, seek help and file your lawsuit in a timely manner. Submit further questions for Ask the Attorney to me at 708-448-5169 or to Eileen at curlinwalshlaw.com. Thanks and bye.